Akame got kill opening. Let's go. Mm. That girl's a huge ass sword. Scissor. I can't wait to course to drop, man. This already sounds like a banger. That's a whole ass scissor as a weapon. Yeah, that guy has like a Gundam suit. Okay, this is the girl. So, I don't know anything about this show other than... This girl in the middle. I, I, I think her name is Ezde. She, she, her, her design is just so fucking peak, right? Like, that's the only thing I know about her. Because some of some other sites and different type of artists and, you know, content. But these are these, what, what are these, uh, diff different factional groups here? Akame, maybe? Everyone's sad backstory? There must be a second opening or something later too, right? I'm not sure who the main character is. If, 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 if this girl is Akame, then like, she has a lot of focus in the opening more than that Tatsu, whatever, the Tatsumi guy, but this opening is pretty good. Second opening is even super better. Okay, all right, we'll get there when we get there. Akame got kill! Ending, let's go! Are these, these orbs are presenting Night Raid? There's a lot of orbs, never mind. This is... Look like a sad backstory, Leon. What's going on, bro? This is a pretty good ending. Mm. These characters doing their own thing. Oh, who is this guy? We haven't seen this person yet. This guy's like the boss of Night Raid? That's good. Something about this is so bad though, huh? They must all have fucked up backstories. Akame, what's going on? I think the ending is pretty much telling us that this is gonna be a really sad anime. Why is Akame so sad? In the opening, she was all happy with like, you know, hand-holding with like a little sister, but like, I think that was like a childhood friend or something and then they were kids, right? Did they all die? Damn. That was such a solemn, sad ending, but also beautiful at the same time.